study is titled that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. As Paul concluded in our last installment, they which be of faith, faithful Abraham, as Abraham was the forerunner of all, Jew and heathen, would likewise come to know that, therefore it is of faith, that it might be by grace, Romans 4 verse 11. And this has been previously pointed out by Galatians 3 verse 6 in which Paul noted the Galatians, having begun in the Spirit, verse 3, was, even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness, Galatians 3 verse 6. And salvation has always been in simple belief by grace through faith, example the law was never intended to save although the object of that faith was kept hidden from the foundations of the world, the mystery revealed to Paul. Today we continue with Father Abraham, pertaining to Paul's discussion of the works of the Mosaic Law and those that have been saved by grace. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. Cursed is every one that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Galatians 3 verses 10 to 14 In these verses are revelation that much of modern Christendom chooses to routinely ignore. Let's not be among such and let's rightly divide the word of truth concerning law and grace. After having pointed out that the Galatians began in the Spirit and certainly couldn't be perfected by the flesh, works of the law equals flesh. Paul continues and shows that many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. Don't miss this, those that seek to be justified or perfected by works of the law, full curse of the law because they cannot continue in all things which are written as only one man ever did this, the Son of God. Instead, Paul quotes Habakkuk 2 verse 4 clearly showing the path of those who would be just noting, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. The law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. In fact, in Paul's second epistle to the Corinthians, we learn that the law is actually a ministration of death, as Paul writes, but if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 7, example, the law was never to give life. Quite the contrary, Paul states that the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. So, in other words, if you are going to try to go the path of Mosaic law, which, by the way, was never given to Gentiles, you must live in them and that is not just Ten Commandments, it is all six hundred plus commandments. Successful law obedience, we know to be impossible apart from Israel receiving her new covenant. See Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 34 for more information on this. Instead, regarding the law, we know from the revelation of the mystery given to Paul, hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Here, Paul quotes Deuteronomy 21 verse 23 and explains, In paying for our sins, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Mosaic law, by becoming cursed for us and thereby fulfilling redemption by his crucifixion. It should be noted that, even though this is fulfillment of prophecy, in no way did this prophetic utterance understand or predict the mystery implications of what God would do thereby. For with the revelation of the mystery, as Paul shares, endured the cross, 
died, was buried, raised from the dead, ascended into heaven, and sat down at the right hand of the Father, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. This goes way beyond the prophetic prediction as it is for Jew and Gentile, alike. This is salvation in simple belief of the gospel, by grace through faith, apart from any law. And Paul's point is that if God subjected his own son to this to free all from the, uh, the ministration of death, which is the Mosaic law, even though it is holy, just, good, in verse 12, why would the Galatians, or any believer since, seek to be live under it? This is particularly the question for Galatian Gentile believers to whom the law was never intended to belong. And the student of the word will join Paul in this question and ask why. Believer, with Israel set aside in unbelief in this dispensation of the grace of God, the law belongs to no living person, for Christ has fulfilled prophecy and fulfilled the law. Matthew 5 verses 17 to 20 Live in grace. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study. Mm-hmm.